Hello, I'm Eric Brooks with Alpine Electronics, and today we're taking an inside look at Alpine Status. Alpine Status consists of a media controller, a DSP amplifier, and a line of speakers. So let's check it out. So when we talk about Alpine status, I want to make sure that there's no confusion between Alpine F number one status and Alpine status. Alpine F number one status is a complete system. It can only be purchased as a complete system. So you can't buy the speakers or the media controller or the DSP or the amps or the subs separately. It's all purchased together. But Alpine F number one status is the ultimate in high resolution playback with playback capabilities of 384 kilohertz, 32 bit, right? So it's the ultimate in high resolution and the materials and the components that we used in F number one status, along with the engineering, really set it up as the standard for sound reproduction in a car. The beauty of Alpine status is we were able to take all of these things that we learned with Alpine F number one status and allow it to trickle down into a more accessible price point for the consumer. And you now have the ability to buy all of these components individually. So whether it's our media controller or our DSP amplifier or our speaker line, you can purchase them independently or together if you choose. So we're going to go in depth on each of these categories of product today and really show you the benefits of Alpine status in your vehicle. So let's talk about the Alpine Status Digital Media Controller, the HDS 990. This is where it all starts in the Alpine Status system. And it really is a, a great way to manage high resolution audio and other sources in your vehicle. So let's talk really quick about high resolution and the benefit of it, right? So for many years, CD was the reference of audio. Right, it, it has a playback of 44 kilohertz, 16 bit, which was the leading resolution of the media at the time. Um, but the challenge with CD was the ability to carry all of these discs with you, right, and and easily access your media as you wanted it. Well, smartphones came around, all these portable personal devices come around, so now there's streaming services where we can access whatever song we want anytime we want. The challenge with that is many of these streaming services actually have a resolution lower than CD. So they don't even sound as good as CD. Well, high resolution was introduced. And when that was introduced, it changed everything because now we get closer to uh, the original digital recording spec laid down in the studio by the artist. So it adds depth to your music. It gives you an actual, a, a great sound stage in the vehicle. So it sounds like you're, you're being performed to uh, individually by the artists themselves. So it's a great way to have great sound in your car. So this does a great job of managing uh, that digital media. This plays back a resolution of 192.24, okay? So it's even higher than standard high res spec. Um, so that's fantastic. But the other benefit of this is the ability to manage other sources in the car, right? So we have our, our high resolution di digital content we can pipe into here. You can also use a head unit in conjunction with your system. So you could have, let's say for example, you wanna use CarPlay and Android Auto. You have that in your factory head unit. Well, you can use that and integrate it into this controller and manage all of that information in through here. And then when you want to change and go to a high resolution source, you can have a mass media device, you can have LDAC streaming Bluetooth high resolution, all these other ways to get high resolution into the system. So it's basically like having two systems in one, right? So you can do that with an OEM system. The way I would suggest is adding in an Alpine head unit with CarPlay and Android Auto, you know, maybe an ILX F509, something like that a great way to manage your media, that unit's high resolution too. So you'd have that unit piped into this unit, the HDS 990. So you have your everyday functionality that you need with CarPlay and Android Auto. And then you can have for when you really want to, to do your subtle listening and your competitive listening to, to media, you can have a mass storage device or some other high resolution content that you play in through an additional source, right? So that's how I would do it. So you have 
uh, multiple sources of input. You have a high level input into this, you have an auxiliary level input into this, so high power in, you have RCA input into this, and you have USB inputs into this. So there are multiple ways to get information into this unit. And then let's talk about the outputs. There's multiple ways to get the music out. We can go uh, high quality RCA output from here to a DSP amplifier or to an amplifier. We can go uh, optical out of this into a processor. We can even use the four channel by 25 high resolution amplifier that's built into this and go straight out to your speakers, right? So there are multiple ways to manage your different sources and get them out to your vehicle in the best manner possible. Let's talk a little bit about the tooling and the benefit and the look and fit, feel and finish of this. It really is a high quality piece of equipment. So the tooling, the tactile feel of the knob and the buttons is exceptional, right? So this is a premium product and it's made to reproduce sound at its best. So why would we cut corners in producing the hardware, right? So this stuff looks great. It has this beautiful display and all of these great uh uh, tooling used in the actual controller piece. And then when you look at the installation capability of this small box that manages all those sources, it can go into a single den uh, slot on a dash or it can hide away under a seat. So multiple ways to install this in the vehicle and it really looks cool. So that's the uh, high res audio media player, the HDS 990. Now let's talk about this Alpine Status DSP amplifier called the HDP D90. This thing is incredible. It's very flexible in its setup. It's very uh, great for its sound reproduction. So let's talk about some of the things that make it really great. First off, when you see the chassis of this, it really has a look and a fit and feel of Alpine F number one status, right? So it gets its design cues from Alpine F number one status. So it looks beautiful. Internally, this thing is all painted black inside, so there's no light reflection creating distortions in the signal path. It's also got a copper-plated chassis, so there's no, no noise generated and, and injected into the sound by radiated noise. It has a signal-to-noise ratio of over 110 dB signal-to-noise. That means this machine is very, very quiet, right? So you're hearing more of the music and less of the machine creating it. Uh, some other great things about this is the bandwidth, the, the, the width of music produced by this. So it creates a bandwidth of 10 hertz out to 110 kilohertz. What does that mean? 10 hertz is below what the human ear can hear, right? And 110 kilohertz is far above what the human ear can hear. But those, those, that information that's produced can still affect us emotionally and it does add dynamic to the sound that you're hearing. So it's very important that wide bandwidth width is huge. It also has high resolution capability, right? So it's 192, 32-bit internal sampling rate and it outputs at a 192, 24-bit sampling rate. So it has high resolution audio capability that's really best utilized using our uh, Alpine Status high resolution audio media controller called the HDS 990. So using this together with that piece really gives us the benefit of accessing our high resolution content and playing it back in the vehicle. So let's talk a little bit about the inputs and outputs of this because it's very flexible. So it has 10 channels of RCA output. It has 12 channels of high level input. So if we have an OEM system that we're trying to tie into with this, we can do that. If we have a tweeter channel, a mid-range channel, and a mid-base channel, and a subwoofer channel, we can take all of those inputs and tie them together and matrix sum them within the, the unit itself to create a full signal, a full bandwidth signal, right? So we can do that all in the software in tuning of this processor. It has 32 bands of parametric equalization within it. So you can really adjust and fine tune the sound for your specific vehicle using the software in this system. It also has uh, a, a digital coax input, an optical input, it has a USB input, it has uh, the capability of streaming Bluetooth directly to this. So all of these inputs are, are a great thing for us, right? Again, I said we have 10 channels of RCA output, so you can go out of this into additional amplifiers, but it also has a built-in uh, high-resolution amplifier, which is 12 channels of output. It has eight channels of 50 watts 
and four channels of 80 watts. So it has full capability of running a speaker system in active application right in the amplifier in this DSP. So a lot of benefits to this piece. It's best utilized when using our Alpine high resolution audio media player, the HDS 990, but it can also work standalone. So that's our Alpine status DSP amplifier and it's a great addition to your system in your vehicle. Now let's talk about this great line of Alpine status speakers, right? So there's, there's five models in the Alpine status line, uh, really that consist of two different categories of products. So I'm gonna try to break it down. We'll start with the models that are considered OEM fitment uh, first. So there's three models that are considered OEM fitment, and it starts with the HDZ65. This is a six and a half inch, coaxial speaker. It has a six and a half inch uh, mid-bass element and a one inch high frequency driver. So that's our HDZ65. From there, we go to our HDZ65CS. The S stands for slimline. So it has the uh, six and a half inch uh, mid-bass driver there. It also has a one inch high frequency driver. Okay. It comes with a full passive network here for a two-way configuration that's fully adjustable. Uh, from there, we go to our uh, HDZ653S. Again, S is for slimline. And that speaker set con consists of a six and a half inch mid-bass, three inch mid-range, and one inch high frequency driver, along with a three-way crossover network that's fully adjustable. Uh, so that's our OEM fitment category of product within the Alpine status line. Now let's go to our more custom install product, which there's two models within there. So we have the HDZ65C, right? HDZ65C. And, and that has a six and a half inch mid bass and a two inch, two inch high frequency driver. This thing is absolutely killer. We'll get into some details in a minute. From there, we go to our three-way configuration set. So that is the HDZ653. And it has the six and a half inch mid-bass driver that you see here. It has the three inch mid-range that you see here. And it has that two inch high frequency driver that you see here, as well as a three-way passive crossover network. So each of the uh, component sets have that passive network crossover that's fully adjustable, and then we have our coax available too. So that's our line of products. Now, when you look at these, let's talk a little bit about the features and, and why they look so awesome and why they really resemble our F number one status speaker uh, line. And, and really it's because they derive so much of the materials and the look and feel from Alpine F number one status. Okay, so first off, let's look at this really cool and unique surround. This is called a double gathered surround. And the benefit of that is it keeps great linear control over the motor structure as it moves in and out. So it has very low distortion and great control. The other thing that's very special is these all have the same cone material. It's a carbon composite cone, just like in the Alpine F number one status speakers. So, whether you're playing from the mid bass, the mid range, or the, the high frequency driver, the transition from those from one to the next is very smooth because they all have the same cone materials and they're very lightweight and rigid. So as this speaker is moving in and out very, very quickly, it doesn't distort under that pressure. Right, so that's another benefit of that cone material. You'll also notice this cast aluminum basket, this great tooling, and all the things that go into it to really make it look and sound fantastic. So those are some of the features. The other feature I wanna to talk to you about is this aluminum phase plug that's integrated into all of these speaker elements. And the benefit of that is really directing the sound as it comes off of the cone and eliminating any phasing issues of the sounds as they move off of the, uh, the cone. So you're hearing more of the music and less of the uh, speaker that's playing it, right? So very, very important. So those are uh, just some of the key uh, features in the, in the mid range and the mid bass and even the tweeters but now I wanna to talk to you a little bit more about these high frequency drivers, right? Because they're pretty special. So we have the, uh, the two models of components that are OEM fitment. And I wanna talk about the tweeter, the high frequency driver that comes with that. So you'll see it here set up for flush mount configuration, right? So you see the, uh, the bezel here and the nut that locks it all down. Um, so if you're gonna do a flush mount with this, you can do that. But what's really cool is the way it breaks down. So you simply push 
on the back of the tweeter, you can take it out of that flush mount housing, and now you have a very small uh, high frequency driver that can mount in many, many different locations, right? So that's a great benefit, and that's why we call this our OEM application uh, speakers for the uh, Alpine Status line. So that's our, our one inch high frequency driver. Now let's talk about our two inch high frequency driver. So this piece, again, you see this wonderfully tooled uh, lockdown nut for the uh, surface mount application, this beautifully integrated grill and Alpine logo here, all aluminum extrusion here. This has a tuned enclosure on the back, so we have great control over the movement of the speaker. Um, so it has, you know, just a great, very wide range of response here. Has that integrated uh, phase plug. Now, all of those lend up to great sound and great smoothness of transition from one speaker to the next. Um, but overall, when we look at this, the frequency response from the mid bass driver up to the high frequency drivers is 55 hertz on the low end, which is nice deep bass on the low end, out to 40 kilohertz on the high end, which is high resolution spec, right? So these can actually play out beyond what the human ear can hear. But it's it's very important when you have high high resolution information that you be able to rep, uh, reproduce those sounds. So you can optimize the performance of these Alpine status speakers using our high resolution audio media player uh, in the Alpine status line or our high resolution DSP amplifier in the Alpine status line. So these are developed and engineered to work great together or you can use them in a uh, configuration that you develop on your own. So. Any way you decide to use these speakers, they sound great, all right? So thanks for taking the time to tune in and, and check these out. Until we talk again, have a great day.